this roadside zoo in Oklahoma has hundreds of exotic animals. An HSUS investigator worked undercover at GW Exotics and exposes a dangerous and deadly situation. In the four months he was there, five tigers died. We've got a situation that's spiraling out of control and dead tigers are piling up. While everyone there was at risk. Both employees and patrons of the park were injured on multiple occasions by the tigers. Staff were instructed to whip and hit the tigers hard on the nose. They don't want to walk, pop him in the ass and make him walk. This is owner Joe Schreibvogel. Schreibvogel told the investigator what he would do if he ever lost the place. Joe Schreibvogel told me if he ever loses at the park, he's just going to shoot himself in the head. That's exactly what happened in Zanesville, Ohio, when the owner of more than 50 dangerous animals killed himself just after releasing them, making national news. Many saw it as a wake-up call why exotic animals should not be in the hands of non-professionals like those at GW Exotics. How many animals you got here? Uh, all together, big cats, we have a little over 200. 200? Over 1,400 animals total. Oh my God. This is a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. This may be the biggest aggregation of tigers anywhere in the country. See how, look at him claws. They are born with razor sharp claws. One way GW Exotics brings in money is by allowing the public to interact with dangerous wild animals. Oh such as bear cubs, snakes, wolves, and even tigers. The USDA only allows tigers 8 to 12 weeks of age to be with people. But the investigator says using older and more dangerous tigers was common practice. Like in this video showing a 20-week-old tiger being used, knocking down, and biting a child. One hand <laughs> To provide a young tiger with an opportunity to interact with an infant or a child is insane. GW Exotics breeds big cats, producing bizarre hybrids to try to lure more paying customers. Well, what we're seeing at this place is we're seeing constant breeding of these animals. He's just accumulating more and more dangerous exotics. Oklahoma needs to pass legislation to stop this reckless breeding of animals. What do you feed them, man? Uh, they eat ribs, chicken, brisket, uh, you name it. But when GW Exotics needed more food for the cats, this horse and one other were chosen to become food. One of the workers asked the manager if he could shoot the horse. The manager gave him his gun and it took five shots. And this is a common pattern that we see with people who get in over their heads. Not having enough resources to care for the larger and ever larger number of animals at the facility. <laughs> this is a situation that is not sustainable. It is unsafe. There's going to be a very bad outcome in the end.